Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Mm -hmm. Again, dealing with what people think about you. Here is one that I played into, telling on myself, where I literally missed out on an award because I tried to please. Now, I had been rehearsing and practicing and going over and winning left and right. I was winning every round I went to. I was in a forensics tournament trying to win first place in the state for oral interpretation. It was a speech tournament. <laughs> so here I am. I mean, I pretty much had it in the bag. It was nobody that could outdo me. So I ended up getting uh, tied in the state for first place, right? But here's what happened. When I went to the nationals, the competition was even weaker. And everybody told me, girl, you got this in the bag. So I go, and I'm trying to get an award for first place in the nation for oral interpretation. I was winning left and right, hands down. Every round from the start to the semifinals to the finals. I mean, I was raking them in. And I met a guy who happened to be at the forensics tournament as well. And he was kind of cute. And I liked him. And he acted like he liked me. So what did I do? When I should have been practicing and resting, he wanted me to go out and get something to eat. When I should have been resting and sleeping, I stayed up half the night with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I wanted to please. I wanted to accommodate. I wanted him to like me. Mm -hmm. I lost like a fool. When I got up that morning, I was so tired. My timing was off. My energy was low. It affected the whole thing. I didn't miss by one or two. I literally got a fair, not an excellent or good. I got a fair on something I was winning hands down all the way through state, all the way up. Mm -hmm. I was so sleepy. I was almost dozing off during the final round, listening to everybody else do their thing. I wasn't where I was supposed to be, doing what I was supposed to be doing. I wasn't focused on what I was supposed to focus on. And I wasn't well prepared or equipped. I didn't get enough sleep. I didn't get enough rest. My mind was totally foggy. Why? I can't even tell you what that boy's name is. Never heard from him again. Never even called him again. We live too far apart. But in that moment, what he thought about me was so important. And I missed out on getting first place in the nation. Mm -hmm. Focusing on what somebody else thought about me. I'm getting some male attention. Woo-wee! That's not what I went there for. I went there to win a tournament. A national tournament. And I lost. Now, when I say there is a price to pay for putting your important treasures in the wrong bucket, in a worthless cause, just so that you can be liked by somebody who doesn't even count. 
Don't do that to yourself, you guys. Please. Think. Think. Before you take that leap. It only cost me a competition. Or let's say it only cost me a first place award, a first place trophy. That would have been like, I mean, that thing was big. And it cost me my pride. I felt like a fool. But listen, I learned a lesson from that. So my request to you, don't put yourself in that position. Don't risk losing a job interview. Don't risk missing out on something important where your child needs you to be there. Don't risk missing out on a court date because of a, a moment of flirtatious nonsense. Don't let nonsense rob you of your rightful heritage just so you can be liked. Taint worth it baby believe me it's not worth it